What's going on guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. I'm here to motivate you to be the best that you can be, not only in this game, but also in life. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back, man. Yo, welcome back to another video, Bunch of Crunch Army, in today's video. Okay, we've got a really good one in store, right? Today, we're gonna be talking about how you, yes, you, yes, I'm talking to you, the person watching this video can improve at Fortnite rapidly and potentially even reach a pro level. Who wants to be a pro? Come on now, I see you, I see you. We're gonna be going over all the most relevant and effective methods that you should be using to practice and maximize your time in game so that you can reach a high level as possible. But before we start, my friends, keep in mind that we also have a ton of amazing courses on our website, proguys.com along with actual pro players who can coach you and help you improve so if you're interested make sure you head on over there because you know we've completely redone the entire site to include insane VOD reviews from real pro coaches all right and also you guys have been asking for it and we're about to deliver this one once our channel hits 1 million subscribers guess what we're gonna be doing the video that you've all been waiting for which is the story of my life to this point man and how I made it to being the motivation guy that's right your friend Keith Allen the story of me so if you want to see that make sure you guys subscribe and like the video so more people can see it share with your friends man get the word across because we're doing some special stuff over here all right bunch of crunch army it's about that time it's time to sit back relax and grab some of my favorite candy what is that y'all it's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going all right, so the first method to improve and arguably one of the most important for this season in particular is grinding out some arena. Come on now. Now, in the past, arena was always a good way to improve, but it was never one of the best. But this season, whew, this is all has changed, guys. <laughs> you may have noticed how, you know, so many top pros like Mitro, Kalk, and so many others are practicing in arena and grinding out their points, and it's for good reason. The best part about arena, let me tell you this, all right, is that there aren't many drawbacks. You can't, like, queue up right after you die. There's a consistent point system that you can work around. The players are usually around your skill level, allowing for good practice. And there's a clear track that you can follow while trying to progress and just grind your way up. Another huge thing about Arena this season, which is pretty huge, is the fact that we're currently in a major W key meta. In tournaments, for the most part, kills are absolutely crucial, and not to mention the mythic weapons and items which make it so much easier for players to W key and just grab kills. With all those factors and, you know, others on the table, it's obvious that Arena is one of the most efficient and most beneficial ways to practice the season, you know? So if you're not doing it already, you definitely need to be. What I personally recommend doing and what's worked for me in terms of improvement is going into arena with the mentality of W King. The issue with arena is this, all right? So many of us are hung up on our points and just trying to reach champs that we aren't able to actually make effective practice out of our arena sessions. Camping in a bush might help you rank up faster, but it's not gonna help you improve. The best thing that you can do, guys, in terms of practice is to get points completely out of your head, bro, and just focus on playing for kills and putting yourself into fights. Chances are, like with more of an aggressive play style, you're gonna lose a few points, but your skill is gonna improve drastically as a result. So overall, guys, with that being said, if you're not grinding arena, then you should definitely consider doing so. And it's one of the most efficient methods of practice and the results, well, they really speak for themselves. All right, next up on our list, yes, sir, is one that you've probably like heard of before, but one that you're probably not really doing enough. And that's 1v1ing against players who are better than you. 1v1s with your friends are fun and all, I get it. But the thing is this, like you're not gonna improve if you simply stomp on someone over and over again. You might feel better, but you're not improving. <laughs> what you really need to focus on is this. And like if you're trying to improve your mechanics and general fighting skill through creative, it's going against players who are more skilled than you so that you can adapt to their strategies and improve against a more advanced play style. You know, one of the best ways to find players better than you is to look in a Discord server. Tons of Discord servers like have, you know, looking for group chats where you can find people to play with or against. What I recommend you do, yo, you gotta check out the Pro Guys Community Discord, man, which is gonna be linked in the description. All right, in our server, you can find a ton of awesome people to play with and practice against, along with a ton of giveaways, events, and so much more. What are you waiting for? Come on, check it out. Enough with that. All right, overall, I strongly recommend finding some good players to 1v1 against to improve your mechanics and fighting skills. This will genuinely speed up your progress so much more, man. And I guarantee you're gonna see rapid improvement after only a few 1v1s if you really do it right. Also, if you feel like you're struggling with a certain aspect of 1v1s, you can always check out our pro coaches over at proguys.com to help you guys out. Our coaches have years of experience and can easily just help you spot and just improve on your weak points. So be sure to give it a shot if you're looking to take that next step. 
All right, another huge piece of advice for everybody. Oh my goodness, I say this on my Insta all the time to you guys. Look, you gotta start vibe reviewing. If you don't know what vibe reviewing is already, it's typically consists of going and you know looking back at your own gameplay to spy your mistakes. You can easily find errors and improve your gameplay based on them. All you really gotta do to vibe review is either record your gameplay or save your replay file and just watch back your gameplay after you finish a match to figure out what you can work on, right? And after that, you should try and just focus on improving upon whatever mistakes that you made during the game. Also, like I know I just talked about the website, but I man, I couldn't help but to mention that we've got an awesome course on our website that really helps you go in depth on VOD reviewing. And it really gives you guys, you know, some of that information that's going to help you out a ton if you're trying to reach a pro level. Once again, proguys.com. And I'm telling you, it is the best. All right. So overall, like if you're not doing it already, be sure to start VOD reviewing so you can speed up your progress and fix your biggest mistakes in game. Finally, my friends, we're going to be going over a few creative maps that you can use to improve at the game alongside the other practice methods that we've already talked about in this video. The first map that I like to show you is an amazing map created by none other than a coach from our website known as Coach Jazz. All right, this map is amazing for improving your edit plays and general movement. Okay, in this map here, and I mean like right here, there are basically a ton of movement based drills and edit plays as you go through killing each bot. Each section requires you to kill all the bots before you progress, and it's really a good way to get target practice on your edits, you know, peaks, and general movement. Okay, so if you want to check out this awesome course, we're going to put the code up on the screen right now. Here we go. The code is 37646695910. Be sure to check out this course and let us know what you guys think about it, all right? All right, next up is another unique map made by a familiar face, which is Raider 464. Raider made this map specifically to help players work on their peace control, which is absolutely crucial when it comes to fighting in Fortnite, especially against really good players. All right, this map is super helpful because it basically has you build around your environment and utilize your peace control to build around obstacles and just generally practice your moves, right? This is pretty much an easy alternative to usual free building, and it seriously just helps a lot with both, you know, build fights and box fights really i seriously recommend using this map because it's super versatile it's easy to use which is great and generally it really makes a big difference in your gameplay the code if you want to check this out here we go 6277-3564-7805 now some of you guys might know this last map but yo it is super helpful so we wanted to still include it here and this map is finest realistic mid-game 1v1s also commonly known as realistic 1v1s or simply realistics this map is amazing because it features loot from the actual season 3 loot pool which is just randomized so it gives you an actual realistic loadout and it also includes locations that are actually on the fortnite map in this map you and your opponent are set up in a head-to-head -head battle which basically has everything simulating a real game and this allows you to practice super efficiently with real loot if you want to check out this map guys the code is here we go 7950-6306-4857 and we strongly recommend practicing this map in 1v1s against good players which is going to help you guys improve with that said that's going to be it for the tips today so let's do a quick recap all right here we go first up ladies and gentlemen is grinding arena Arena is such an amazing way to practice, especially during the season with, you know, the W key meta and the fact that Arena is just simply faster and more convenient than other forms of practice. So whenever you're looking to get some practice in, guys, consider hopping into Arena instead of your generic zone rule scrims or public matches. Second up, guys, is 1v1s against better players. This is important because 1v1ing like better players is going to force you to adapt to their moves and playstyle, which is going to help you improve much faster compared to simply just 1v1ing a friend or an average player. All right, for number three, we got VOD reviewing. Here we go. Most of us know like how to do this already. I get it, but it is crucial to just go over this because it's just so important in improving a Fortnite, especially competitive. So we strongly recommend implementing it in a more bit into your practice, okay? Especially in such a complicated and difficult meta like the one we have this season. Finally, be sure to check out the three creative maps that we discussed to get some good practice in outside of your usual routine. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, I'm here to motivate you, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, Bunch of Crunch Army. Let's change this world one person at a time. You guys ready? Yo, let's do it, man. Connect with me on my Insta, your motivation guy. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to see more content just like this. And so we can see my story of your motivation guy as we hit 1 million. I'm so excited. Keep eating that Bunch of Crunch and let's get this going.